Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and Amy here, and today we're going to look at a simple way to optimize your oblique rotations in an ab curl position. So Amy is going to come into a supine position and we're going to place the ball. It can go between the shoulder blades or at the mid back. And she's going to have her knees bent. Now for some people you're going to have to add some kind of a pillow or lift under the head. How are you feeling? Is that okay for your head? All right, so Amy has her knees bent, feet on the floor. Sometimes it helps also to have a little bit of connection through the inner thighs so that they can kind of connect into their um, deep system here. And then she'll place her hands behind her head. And I want Amy to lace her fingers and place her thumbs down the sides of her neck. And before she even starts to lift, I want her to imagine that she's tractioning her neck and pulling the um, back of the head towards the wall behind her and I want her to keep her head into her hands the whole time. So she'll take an inhale and then on the exhale she'll use her ribs and spine just to come into a centered ab curl. And so I want her to think about rolling the ball up and back and to continue to press her head back into her hands and feed the back of the scalp up towards the ceiling and then slowly lower down. And that would be good before you go into the oblique rotation to do a few of those centered ab curls because in the oblique rotation where most people uh, really kind of miss the boat is that they lose that connection of the head, the head back into the hands and really lifting the, the um, back of the head up to the ceiling so that they're able to keep those anterior neck muscles on. All right, so from here we're going to go into the oblique uh, rotation. Pelvis stays in place and she's thinking that she's bringing armpit to the knee or rib to opposite hip. Now what I want Amy to really key into here is that she's using her spine and her ribs to accomplish this and the ball is acting as a teacher for her. So as she goes into this oblique rotation I want her to really think about bringing her back body into the ball like she's trying to roll the ball out from under her on this left side. So she'll take an inhale to prepare and then on the exhale she's rolling this left side of her rib cage up towards the ceiling and the right side of the rib cage down towards the floor. She wants to keep both sides of her pelvis down and then she can slowly rotate back to center and down. Good. We're going to try that one more time and I'm going to ask Amy to make it a smaller range of motion. So before she gets started, this hip was a little bit of a problem, which is really common. The, the hip that we're rotating away from is really going to want to hike up. So I want her to bring her brain to this hip, this sits bone, really soften through the groin in the front of the hip. And I'm going to place my hand on her knee and the front of her hip to help her. And then on her exhale, she's going to rotate this left side of the rib cage up, right side of the rib cage down, and she, that's beautiful. And she's really trying to um, keep that bottom shoulder lifted a bit and create length on that side of the spine. Beautiful. And then slowly, slowly rotate down and release. Lovely. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.